This is Blair Jensen with Downside Hedge. Today, what I want to do is give you an overview of our Twitter stock market sentiment indicator. What I'll do is I'll explain how it's different from other sentiment indicators, tell you a little bit about how we calculate it, and then I'll show you how we used it over the last six weeks, give some real-time examples. First, a little bit of a background on other sentiment indicators. Most of the popular sentiment indicators out there are survey-based. So what they do is they take a poll and they ask investors if they're bullish or bearish about the market for some point in the future. So are you bullish or bearish over the next week or are you bullish or bearish over the next three months? So as a result, what they get is an answer that reflects where an investor currently has their money. This makes survey-based sentiment a good contrary indicator rather than a good confirming indicator. So, as an example, when survey-based sentiment gets extremely bullish, it shows that most investors have already allocated their money, so it's already in the market, which causes buying pressure to dry up. The downside hedge Twitter sentiment indicator is a better confirming indicator rather than a contrary indicator, and this is because of the way it's calculated. What we did is we wrote a computer program that reads the Twitter stream and it looks for stock symbols and actions associated with those stock symbols. For example, we look for technical chart patterns, we look for people saying they're buying or selling a stock, people that say that they're, they're getting short, people mentioning resistance levels or support levels, and also general comments that indicate a trader's bias either for or against a stock. Then what we do is we score each specific tweet on a scale that indicates how bullish or bearish that tweet is for for the stock for a stock then we aggregate the scores into a daily value for each for each stock and this line here is the daily aggregation or our twitter sentiment indicator for the S&P 500 index because we're scoring tweets by real traders based on what they think about the market in real time rather than some point in the future, our indicator works as a confirming indicator and it can be used so similar to other technical analysis indicators like an RSI, a stochastic, or a MACD. So you can use it to either confirm a price move, warn of a change in trend if it's diverging from price, or confirm a change in trend similar to a thrust indicator. Let's look at some examples over that we collected over the last six weeks. I just went and took our weekly blog posts and then grabbed the conclusions that um, we came to from our indicator in, those, in the last six weeks. So this first chart is from October 20th, so it's the closing date October 19th. And what we mentioned that week was that we'd seen a strong up move in price that in the S&P 500 that was not confirmed with a strong up move in our indicator usually and it showed a divergence from the previous time price was near that those levels then the next thing we noticed is is when the market sold off late in the week our indicator really shot down because traders were talking about um, shorting the market that they thought the top was in, um, weekly divergences on price charts, and in general being very negative on the stock market. That led us to conclude, to conclude in that blog post that we didn't think it boded well for the market and that the market would probably um, have more selling in the future. So now we've skipped forward to the chart from our October 27th blog post and sure enough we got that selling. One thing to note is that it um, that the market held support at the 1400 level the red dots and created a positive divergence our Twitter sentiment indicator created a positive divergence from price and our smooth sentiment indicator turned up. So our conclusion from the 27th blog post is that the market should rally in the near term. 
So here's our November 3rd post, and you can see that, rally, that the market did rally, and it rallied right up to a resistance level. It also um, pushed our smooth sentiment indicator up to the trend line that we've had in place for quite a few weeks. Then price reversed. And we also on that reversal, we got a strong negative reading on our daily indicator. Now this is a good example of, a, of what we call an initiation thrust. That's where price reverses and then our indicator prints a strong reading in the same direction. We stated in that update that what we were looking for is a strong move down in the next week. And sure enough, we did get the big move down where the market fell all the way to 1380, which was a, a support level. But with the move down, we also noted in our blog post that we were getting a positive divergence and what looked like might be a triangle pattern here, suggesting that we should get some consolidation in price. This time we were wrong. We were, a little, we were too optimistic. We thought that the market should bounce at a support level but it didn't happen. Instead, price fell again and it fell sharply again the next week. But while it fell sharply, our daily indicator painted a positive divergence and our weekly indicator strengthened. That caused us to write in our blog that we thought that we'd get a, a rally during the next week. Once again, the, the indicator worked and we got the rally that we expected. But with that rally, on the daily indicator, we're starting to get a negative divergence. But on our smoothed indicator, it's still showing a pretty strong price, pretty strong reading. So that led us to, to conclude that we'd see some weakness early in the in the next week, but it would probably be followed by by strength based on our smooth sentiment indicator. And that brings us to today on the 29th of November where we did get that weakness early in the week and today we're seeing strength that follows that's moving the market a little bit higher. So you can see that our Twitter sentiment indi indicator does a pretty good job of predicting reversals when it diverges from price. It confirms price reversals with initiation thrusts and it also confirms that the, the trend when it mirrors the pattern that's painted by price. You can see our weekly updates and other mar market commentaries at Downside Hedge if you've got interest in this indicator and, and other general comments on the market.